All right, what is up guys? It's your boy Will back in the video today. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we'll be talking about four stocks that can explode tomorrow. We'll go over the old levels. We'll go over some new levels. We'll go over the 90-day, 30-minute chart. We'll also go over the five-day, five-minute chart to get some closer price action. And then back out to the 90-day, 30-minute chart to put the new levels on, okay? So make sure you guys smash the like button and subscribe. The first one we'll be talking about today is Apple, ticker symbol AAPL. And as you guys know, I'll be posting about two to three videos from now till about January 1st, okay? About two to three, video, two to three videos, very, very impactful, okay? I am traveling a lot, so I do have less time to make videos and stuff for you guys. Whenever I, whenever I have the time to, I will make them for you, okay? So make sure you guys smash the like button. Let's get the video over 100 likes and let's get into it. So again, we'll be talking about Apple, ticker symbol AAPL. Let's go to the five minute. Old buying level kind of stalled out. It hit it twice here. One time, two times, three times. Okay, so after it did that, the buying pressure was kind of stalled out. So you could tell it broke here. And then here, buying pressure did come below it, came back down a little bit, and then went higher. Something that I teach you guys in the VIP um, VIP section. It just did it again, as you can see. That was a nice entry. But again, I'm really not in the markets as it's low volume, low volatility right now because it's Christmas week. But it did go all the way to the resistance level that I had up here. And you can see it kind of stalled out at the resistance level. So levels of it did hit perfectly. So let's go back out to the 90-day, 30-minute chart. And then I'll give the key levels for you guys, okay? And I also think in the morning, I'll probably post about four videos within probably like real close to each other on a couple penny stocks that I see. I'll post them in the morning before the market opens, about four videos. So make sure you uh, stay tuned for that. Now, for buying pressure, Apple is up a little bit, up about 30. So since I'll probably be looking at 176 so 176 will be a buying level that I'll be looking at so let me go ahead and put that on the charts and then around that 176 level only options okay only options because shares you would have to get a big move for um, to be profitable in those shares but around that 176 I'll be looking to exit around 180 okay so that's the kind of range that I'm looking for. We just need that buying pressure around that 176 area, which is kind of where it is now. So watch that one closely in the morning tomorrow, and we'll see what we can get. Second one is Ford. Okay, we have some old levels on Ford, old buying level. We can stay at the 30-minute chart. Had a little push off of it. Okay, came back down, kind of stalled above it, but really nothing happened with Ford. So new levels I'm kind of looking out for on forward I don't want to I don't want to make the video too long I'll be looking for some pullback around like $20 so kind of where price is now and it's already pulling back a little bit um, it pulled it closed around 2014 and it's pulling back to around 2003 something like that so I am looking for buying pressure around that 20 looking for options okay and then looking to exit those options at about 22 so let's put 22 on here and that's really the only levels I see right now on Ford exiting at 22 buying at 20 make sure we get that buying pressure confirmation okay we don't just buy because the levels hit we always wait for that confirmation then we enter third one is Carnival Cruise Lines ticker symbol CCL we have some old buying levels right here Hit it once, twice, kind of broke it a little bit. Really stalled right here until we had that push off right after the earnings. Okay, earnings kind of pushed it off. So let's go ahead and, and then it didn't show any resistance at this um, resistance level. And then it turned to a support and went higher. So that's also something I'm looking at uh, for some bullishness also. Okay, so CCL, I'll, I want pullback. Around 20. $20, I'm looking for buying pressure on CCL so let's go ahead and mark that okay let's zoom out a little bit so 20 and then I'll be looking to exit of about 22 
that would be about a 10% gain on shares. And then for options, um, probably be a bigger percentage. I don't know which options I want yet. I need to see that pullback first to know which ones I want. So just make sure you're in the buy and sell Discord group where we uh, where I show you guys what I'm buying and selling for options and shares. Make sure you join that link below in the description. We do have VIP and we have regular signals available. Okay. And the last one is advanced micro devices, ticker symbol AMD. You guys know I gave you guys a warning level down here. If that broke, we turn bearish. It never broke, so we're still bullish. Price went higher. Buying pressure blew right through that. Okay, it kind of came back down almost around a support about 15 cents away, and then went higher again. So let's go ahead and clear these levels. Okay, so for AMD, we'll be looking at, I'll probably say around 142, 143. Let's put it at 142. So around 142, I'll be looking at for that buying pressure to kind of come in the market. 142. Uh, looking for options and then looking to exit about 150. So looking for some nice potential with shares. It will be a small percentage. That's why I'm doing options. Okay. And again, with the options, I'll let you guys know in the Discord room. So just make sure you join that. But that's the main tool I'm looking for for AMD. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything. This is for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.